These are the highlights of this week. Plus, how to move from the low vibe 3D towards the more 5D higher vibe living. And I'll show you how you can move through them with greater ease. Give yourself access to a free lifestyle. Start living in the new era vibe. Let's go travel to freedom. As we're growing into our new higher selves, by the impacts of the planners, they're stirring things up to wake us up. You move towards 5D by integrating this shift into your daily life. It's about elevating your mindset and thinking positive. So by now you've probably felt the trembling of the super moon waking us up. Like really. To the reality of we have too much on our plates for our own good. It's a real reality check. I will show you how to remove the fluff you don't really need. And find the essential, essential for your true self, for your true self, so you're capable of attracting your powerful new life. I don't know where we humans have got that it's a straight road forward. No, it's full of vital tests to see if we're capable of handling the next brighter step or not. The universal law will not put you in front of something. You cannot handle. Relationships may become difficult. Issues that haven't been dealt with are coming up to be healed. What feels good and so right to think, say, and do? It's about becoming aware of what we're actually doing due to old hurts, due to old wounds. We have been keeping putting more on our shoulders as our ego mind. The program is from our role models. Tough love from the past is very active. We are really coded with that it's never good enough. Our ego mind always wants us to thrive forward constantly, but the thing is that we gotta take good care of ourselves because no one have time to save anyone but themselves anymore. Probably never have. It was just an illusion in our minds that somebody might come and save us. So we are to be our own savior, lighten our own load, let some darlings go, so we can have the powerful energy needed to be well. Then move slowly but surely towards the brightest star in us. Yeah, that last week, huh? Our unconscious resistance came right to the surface. The resistance that persisted. We have to keep moving forward on things we don't really deep down want to outlive. Only because that's what you have been taught to see things through, though we didn't really, really want to carry on deep down, knowing it is equal troubles. Me myself, after months of deep challenges, over and over again, I got real French for a hot minute. I've been living in Paris for 25 years, and it's okay to go overboard once in a while. And sometimes we still let the 3D worries, what if we got to pull through? We have to keep on going, rule us. So that's why it takes us so long to get it. But until now, we didn't have the consciousness and the planets that are pulling us up from the destructive 3D roots. It's all happening now, and that's why it's disruptive. We all, the whole planet, is going through a mass awakening. Or those who prefer staying. In the low 3D, all the drama, they will slowly weather away because they will have too low vibe compared to the higher frequencies that Gaia, our planet, increasingly is moving into. So if we don't align and keep calm, optimistic, and find solution, 
then we will get stuck in fear, procrastinations, and increasing paranoia. So it's best to go with the flow of the high frequency energy. Facing fears that have held us back, ready to stop being restricted by them. This will make room to see clearer how to go about elevating your life situation the best you can by go with what truly feels good and right and leave the rest for now. Yes, I know it's easier said than done and our caveman ego materialistic mind is certainly active in us all the time. It's like an inner war going on within us of the fear and the trust. But we are to let the trust in what we can't see yet and know deep within is right and good. We are to let it win over and over again, catching our thoughts again and again till we finally have a brighter new habit and don't let the ego mind win all the time and our fears. The issue is we have too much to keep a flow in the 3D society that have built up so much to be and do, to be functional in this 3D system. So be good to yourself. You're doing the best you can. Like me personally, I've been working three jobs, plus being an alone mom, etc. It keeps coming at me to make me see all the old ways that certainly doesn't function anymore. What needs to change now before it gets worse? And this is what we all are dealing with right now. But I also realize what a profound strength I built up to deal with all this quite smoothly, actually. Though I'm now quite exhausted. I need some weeks of slow motion and catching my breath, having some room to just breathe. And just listening and recalibrating. This is what we need to do right now. How about you? What happened to you last week? I would love to know in the comments. It's about dissolving all these old destructive habits. Dysfunctional habits. That are running quite deep. Becoming aware that it will take the time it takes. As long as you're moving forward, just one brighter step a day and some patience with yourself. So you don't create from a low vibe. That just boomerangs more low vibes back. Just sometimes we just can't do it and it's okay. We're just human. We're here to learn. And it's a bumpy road. So be patient with yourself and just get back on the horse the next day or a few days later not to lose the momentum, then it will eventually happen. But it's a continual journey. We're never finished. We can just reach our next milestone. Anyway, moving too fast too far results in us retracting into a narrow comfort zone, kind of closing like an oyster. And that just resolve in that we can't even take to think about it for a long while. Really, moving too fast takes you further away from your powerful real life. Going steadily in snail mode is actually way faster. So remember, you still are to keep up your current life aflow while you're building the bridge towards your brighter future. So self-care and understanding is vital to remove these dysfunctional habits that we have ingrained in us from the past. We do this by finding something less toxic to focus on, as the ego mind will panic if it finds itself in no man's land. Also prepare for a few days of discomfort while the adaption towards your brighter habits sets in and installs itself, ingrades itself within you. Where is your spark driven by improvised fun flow? Where in your life are you moving like a dolphin in lightness and play? 
or you used to, swaying through the obstacles, not attached by expecting a certain outcome, just going with the flow, trusting at the right place at the right time, it will all come together. As you are committed to make one brighter step every day, we feel empowered, fine with resolving, accepting what for sure needs to go, what doesn't work for us, replaced by what gives us way more pleasure in the long run. We feel our willpower is changing. The fire burning in us is brighter than before. Empowered to go after what we truly want. That is, if we choose to catch the down spiraling thoughts, reset to what you rather want to attract, which will boomerang back to you. On this, I wish you a shining magnetic week, swaying through the swaying obstacles. Through the obstacles. Swaying through the obstacles.